Hello, hello, hello. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to this free four day challenge, gratitude for your body and money. Just give it a few minutes for some people to hop on and see the live feed. Hi, Veronica. Hi, Init. Hello, Iman. Thank you for the Arabic Zoom link and the Arabic translation. Hi, Avir. Happy Monday. So what a great day to start a gratitude challenge, right? Okay, so. Let's begin. So today is day one of this four day challenge. Um, and why do we call it a challenge? Because I'm gonna ask you over the next four days to actually challenge yourself. Challenge yourself to challenge your points of views. To challenge yourself around what energy you're being in the world with your everyday activities, with your daily interactions. And that can be interactions with other people, but it's also gonna be interactions with you. How are you interacting with your body, with your business, with money, with everyday activities? Gratitude for your body and money are you interacting and engaging with gratitude or are you interacting and engaging with judgment? And I'm actually kind of blown away at how many people registered for this. <laughs> it was a, a, a very big number that I was very surprised with because I only uh, announced this on Saturday. So. And it's also interesting in the run up to it, how many people had difficulties registering or getting the links or finding the emails. And that's one of the things I've come to realize too is even down to like, what's almost seen as like small, you know, like small things like getting an email or registering or how much do you, where do you use force and frustration instead of ease and the space from which gratitude creates. So you cannot have judgment and gratitude at the same time. The two of them cannot exist together. So if you don't have gratitude, you have judgment. So how many things in your daily life and your daily interactions do you not have gratitude for? You know, and in this world, you know, gratitude, we're told, do a gratitude list, you know, list all the things you're grateful for. But that isn't actually really the energy of gratitude. That is like having to have a reason to be grateful. But gratitude is this space there is no solidity in gratitude. It's a space of being and receiving. So do you receive your body? And are you grateful for your body? No matter what's going on with it. Or do you only have gratitude when your body is doing what you've decided it needs to do? 
or when your body looks the way you've decided it needs to look. Is that really gratitude or is that another form of judgment? So everywhere you are saying you're grateful, when underneath it you're still judging you, can we destroy and ungrate it please? Whew, right, wrong, good, bad, pot, pock, only shorts, boys, meands. And for those of you who don't know those weird words, I just said that's the Access Consciousness Clearing Statement. They're one of the tools from Access Consciousness where we use the clearing statement and we use these energetic words to clear the unconsciousness we have that's keeping us stuck. So... Gratitude, and if you want to know more about that, there's a video under the guide section that's called um, Clearing Statement, and it explains the clearing statement to you. You can also take an Access Bars class and start learning about access and receiving and clearing. Okay, so gratitude. Gratitude is an energy that always, always, always will add to your life, will add to everything your being and doing in the world. Gratitude is an energy that expands everything. It allows everything to grow. It is a currency. If you don't have gratitude, you're doing judgment. Judgment decays everything. Judgment destroys everything. Judgment is a solid energy that you use to stop you. So how many times in a day do you use judgment to limit you, limit your body, and limit your money flows. Because judgment stops you from receiving. So whenever you come to a judgment, you stop yourself from receiving. And you stop yourself from receiving money. So are you grateful? Do you have the energy of gratitude in your world for how your body is right now? warts and all, the good, the bad, the ugly, all of it. Are you grateful for the money you have in your world right now? Or do you judge that it's not enough? So if you had a friend come over to your house and she sat there and the whole time you were like, you're not enough, you're never enough, you're never here for me enough. The minute you're here, you're gone again. Um, you you make it really hard on me. I don't look. I don't like how you look. Um, I really want you to be different. Why can't there be more of you? How would that friend be with you? Would your friend want to come over again, and spend time with you, and be with you? Can your friend even contribute to you if they're all the judgments you have of your friend? So it, when you talk to money and you say, you're not enough, I don't have enough, I must work hard to get you, the minute I get you, you're gone, you are creating judgment with money, which limits what you can receive. When you judge your body, your body cannot give to you when you're judging it. Your body cannot support you and contribute to you when you're judging it. So everything that is, so all the secret, hidden, covert, unsaid, undisclosed, unacknowledged judgments you have of you your body and your financial flows, your money, that's not allowing your body and money to gift to you and expand you and expand your life. Can we destroy and create it, please? Whew. Right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pock, all night shorts, boys and yachts. See, it's, it's very easy to have gratitude when everything's great, right? when you're feeling good, when you're having that, my, that great day with your body, or when you're feeling confident, you have money flowing in, it's very easy to be 
grateful those days. What about the days when you wake up and you look in the mirror and you don't feel that great? Or you're a bit tired, or your body is a bit low in energy, or you don't have a lot of business that week, or you're, you, know, you don't have a lot of money coming in. Do, are you grateful then? Or do you go to judgment? Are you grateful for when people are mean or unkind? Or do you resist it? Are you grateful for all the insanities going on around you? Or do you resist it and judge it and fight it? So having gratitude is really about receiving. Receiving everything without a point of view, without having to make it right or wrong, fight it or align and agree with it. So when you have gratitude, it's not a feeling. See, this reality tries to make you feel grateful. You should feel grateful. You should feel it. Don't you feel grateful? <laughs> and you're like, no, I don't feel grateful. I'm so wrong. I don't feel grateful. Great gratitude is not a feeling. It's not, uh, it's not like, oh, I'm happy. I feel happy. So how many, oh, so, so everywhere we have misidentified and misapplied gratitude as feeling happy, can we now destroy and uncreate it, please? Whew. Right, wrong, good, bad, pop, pop, only shorts, boys, meands. And then how many times when you were being gratitude and people said to you, oh, you're not happy, why aren't you grateful for that? But you were actually being gratitude. You just didn't have it as a feeling. So everywhere you've been, everywhere you were being gratitude and someone accused you of not being it because you weren't making it a feeling, can we now destroy and uncreate it, please? Whew. Right, wrong, good, bad, pop, pop, only shorts, boys, meands. Gratitude is not a feeling. Gratitude is a space of being. It's a sense of peace and expansion that is not solid. So everywhere you've been trying to make gratitude a solid feeling rather than a sense of being, space, peace, ease, and relaxation with everything. Can we now destroy and uncreate it, please? Right, wrong, good, bad, pot, pock, all nice shorts, boys, me ants. So gratitude is space. When you're truly being gratitude, when you truly have gratitude, when you be it, right, not feel it, because feelings Feelings that like emotions are like the lower harmonic of being. So how many of you try to like go to the feeling and the emotion of gratitude as like happiness rather than just be it? Gratitude is from a space of being. And in being, there is a relaxation. There is no proving. So everywhere you've tried to prove you're grateful rather than be gratitude, can we destroy and uncreate it, please? Whew. Right, wrong, good, bad, pop, pop, on our shorts, boys, me ons. So when you try to feel grateful, you are actually trying to make it love. And in this reality, gratitude and love are misidentified and misapplied. Love has judgment to it. I can love my husband and still judge him. If I'm grateful for my husband, I can't judge him at the same time. So how many of you try to love your body while at the same time judge the fuck out of your body? How many of you say you love money and at the same time hate money and judge money? Ooh, so everything that is, everywhere you've misidentified and misapplied love as gratitude and gratitude as love, can we destroy and uncreate it, please? 
right around good, bad, pud pock, all nice shorts, boys and me odds. So when you try to make gratitude love, you make it solid and you make it significant. Love is always this solid thing. Gratitude comes from a space of being. There is no solidity in gratitude. It is an energy that is expanding and expanding and expanding and growing all the time. The minute you make it solid, you're not being gratitude, you're doing some form of judgment. Whew. There is no judgment in space. When you have space, when you be space, there is no judgment, there is no solidity in that. So, what if you could start to be gratitude? For your body. For how it is right now not trying to change it, not trying to make it different, not trying to resist whatever is going on with you today with your body, whether you're tired, angry, sad, happy, frustrated, feeling fat, feeling small, feeling thin, whatever is going on with your body right now. If you were to be gratitude from space, from that expansion, Ooh. from the awareness of gratitude, not the sensation that you've decided gratitude needs to feel like. <sighs> How much bigger and greater do you become? Just perceive that energy. It's an expanding, growing, expanding. It goes out into the universe and it ripples out. You can't feel that. The minute you try to feel it, the minute you've turned it into a judgment. Now, I want you to tap into, I want you to get the energy of your reality with money today. Whatever money is for you today. Whew, okay. Now I just want you to be present with money. Like with your, whatever your reality with money is in this 10 seconds, whether it's how much you have, how much you don't have, your bank accounts, what's there, what's not there, whatever it is, whatever your reality is with money right now. And just be present to with like whatever points of views you have with money right now. Don't try to resist the points of views. Don't try to ignore them. Don't try to pretend they're not there. Just be present with it your whole reality with money as it is right now. Now, add the energy of gratitude. If you could be gratitude right now for the money you do have 
whatever number it is, it doesn't matter. Just for whatever money you have right now in your bank accounts, in your bedroom, in your wallet, whatever, even if it's just coins. Whew, especially, actually, let's start with coins. Be gratitude for that, for the money that's in your world right now. Don't try to feel it. I already sense a lot of you are trying to feel grateful, like you're trying to force it. Just be it. Expand out with it. Whew, there you go. Wow. Okay. There you go. Ah. It's like a dance. Like, hi, money. Sorry for being such a bitch to you. What if I could just really be gratitude with you, for you? <sighs> Thank you for being here with me. Thank you for supporting me. Whew. Thank you for always having my back, even though I think you don't have my back. Funny, there's actually money on the table. Wow, it's a dollar bill. Wow, what gratitude can I be for one dollar bill? Whoo, wow, thank you for being here. <sighs> Increase your receiving. Would you be willing to have gratitude and be gratitude for every penny you have in your wallet? in your bank accounts, every penny you find on the floor. Find a penny, pick it up all day long. Have good luck. All day long, have more gratitude. Be more gratitude. If you cannot receive a penny, how will you receive a hundred dollars or a thousand dollars? Are you grateful? Will you be gratitude now for every penny? If you worry about money and not having enough, you are doing judgment and you are not being gratitude with money. <sighs> there you go. Gratitude, not a feeling, an expansion of being. So today, Expand into being gratitude for every single penny, every dime, every dollar, every euro, every shilling you have in your world. <sighs> Be gratitude today without trying to change your body for whatever's going on today with you and your body.
the more you become space, the less feelings you will have. Okay guys, I'm going to leave it there. Let's play with that one for today and I'll be back tomorrow, same time. Bye for now. Oh, last thing before I shut off. Um, if you registered for this and you didn't receive the email, most likely the email with the call detail, like with the the details because we're we sent out an email after you registered with a link to the audio replays of this because this obviously is a video you'll get an audio replay if you registered so if you registered you get the link to the dropbox if you did not receive the email please check your junk folder or your promotions folder a lot of the times that's where the emails end up if you search my name, you may find it in your junk folder or your spam. If you do, please mark my email as safe. Open my email so your email server knows you want to receive my emails. If you don't open my emails, eventually your email server will block my emails. So even if you go and register for a class with me, your email server will still block my emails. So a way around that is subscribe to my mailing list, open my emails, and then hopefully, hopefully, your emails, my emails will come to your inbox if you want to receive them. That's just some things around emailing. I know people get really confused about emailing. You just gotta be aware of opening emails if you want to receive emails from people. All right, guys, love you, adore you. How can we actually be gratitude with technology and with emailing and with, <sighs> with all of that, with, being in the world in this technology day, how can we actually be gratitude for all the ways we have to communicate with each other and um, receive each other's contributions. So thank you all. I will see you tomorrow. Bye.